Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Esheen H8S 3D. Uh, this is a little ultra micro uh, 3D inverted flying quadcopter. Pretty neat looking thing. A uh, little bit smaller than the original H8 3D. I guess that's what the S stands for, is small. Um, this is basically Esheen's version of the Florian H101 that I recently reviewed. It's the same controller, same transmitter, uh, or same protocol. They, you can fly either with the same transmitter, um, and it's same flight characteristics and everything, uh, but obviously a different look. It's you know got that H8 look that they that Esheen's been going with for a bunch of different sizes and models. Uh, and of course, I'm a big fan of the all green. Looks really nice and bright and cool looking. Um, these prop guards are a little bit flimsy and built in, but I haven't broken one. Um, but I think maybe it not on this one yet. They tend to when you know if you hit something, the paint will chip off or it kind of creases. Uh, but anyway, like I said, it is you know ultra micro, so it's in, in between a nano and a micro, but you get the swappable battery. Uh, so we've got this little 150, can I get it to focus in? There we go, 150 milliamp hour 1S LiPo with the micro loci plug. And it just plugs into the body right there, so that's kind of nice. It doesn't have a, core, a cable dangling out of it, it just plugs right in. To the body let me go ahead and do that so we can look at the leds um, we've got red in the front and blue in the back there and they kind of glow through the arms a little bit um, not super easy to see from the top they mostly come out the bottom there uh, we also have a full set of spare props a usb charging cable a screwdriver for some reason and then these are these little like foam landing feet so you can stick those onto this peg here if you want uh, but my in my experience they just end up falling off so i didn't even bother putting them on um i think yeah this does it, it just a little bit of clearance there so you can land without hitting the props but the prop guards don't come up a ton over the props, but they I guess they do just enough that you could land and take off upside down. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into the transmitter here. Kind of a funky looking transmitter, uh, but you know, like I said, it's the same as with the H101 that I recently reviewed, so all the same features. Uh, we've got on um, the left bumper, we'll do an inverted flip. So you hit the left bumper, then move the right stick whichever direction you want to flip inverted. And all the controls reverse. So even if you flip forward or backward, it'll reverse forward and backward. So you can do a forward flip, and now the back will be the front, and it'll fly around backwards. So whichever way you do an inverted flip, your, your controls are going to be just the same as they were when you were upright. If you hit the right bumper, you're going to just do a normal full flip, and so you end up back the way you started. Um, we've got two different rates, which you do with the yaw trim, so that would be these two buttons here change low rates and high rates. Uh, the yaw rate does change, and it's a fast yaw rate. It's not uh, insanely fast, but it's fast, you know, like sporty fast. Um, let's see, I already showed the LEDs. Uh, you can recalibrate with uh, both sticks down left and both sticks down right, which is, I guess, is there a headless mode? I don't have in my notes. I'm pretty sure this does have a headless mode. Uh, yeah, one press automatic return and CF mode. So I think, I think those are the throttle trim buttons. I forgot to write those in my notes. Uh, but I think, you know, one of these is headless, probably down is return to home and top is headless. Um, but anyway, that's why you got both sticks down left and both sticks down right. One's going to recalibrate the accelerometer, one's going to recalibrate headless mode. Um, oh, I didn't cover uh, charging time on the battery is 45 minutes. And flight time is about 4 minutes and 40 seconds with a 20 second LVC warning. So about 5 minute long flights. And I think that does cover all the details. Yep, that's all there is to say about it. So let's go take it for a flight. Alright, this is the flight review of the Esheen H8S 3D. Uh, this is like a little bit smaller version of the H8 uh, Mini 3D. 
I think this is basically E. Shane's answer to the Florian H101. Uh, same transmitter, same protocol, uh, same size, just a little bit different uh, body design, yeah, but they fly the exact same, all the same features and everything. Uh, so we've got, we can do inverted flights by pressing the left bumper and normal flights by pressing the right bumper and then moving the right stick, obviously. And then we've got our uh, two different rates down here on what would be the, the yaw trim buttons. Uh, so this one's low rates, that one's high rates. So we'll start out on low rates. And this does have LEDs in it, uh, red in the front, blue in the back. Not overly visible, but they're there. And just like the H101, it's a nice flying quad. There's our low rates yaw, and then high rates yaw really fast. Get a funnel going, nice tight funnel. And then hit the left bumper. Here, let's go back to low rates. Looks like it's wanting to drift on me. Let me land it for a second. Those sticks down left to recalibrate it. Let's try that. All right, that's better. Now left bumper, move the right stick. Now we're inverted. And it does reverse all controls no matter which way you flip. So if you do a, a forward and, or backward flip, it'll reverse forward and then the uh, back will be going forward. So keep that in mind. Flip back to right side up. Now if I hit the right bumper and move the right stick, it just does a normal full flip. And you can do that while inverted as well. Pretty cool. Let's go back to normal flying. Low rates is better for just normal flying. The yaw on high rates kind of more for stunts and crit going crazy with it. I mean, even on low rates, there's a funnel on low rates. It's got plenty, plenty of yaw on low rate. Nice flying little quad. The prop guards may not be overly durable. They're pretty thin, single little uh, bar there, and they're not removable or replaceable, so if you break them, they're just kind of done for. Pretty neat little quad. Whoa. All right, well, that's really all there is to show. So let's take her in for a landing. Nice. All right, well, there we go. That's the Ishin H8S 3D. A little bit smaller than the original H8 Mini 3D. Uh, same size as the Florian H101, the same protocol. So I think this is Ishin's response to the Florian's version, so pretty neat. Uh, check the video description for price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.